not getting too bored with the ugly mug. Um, obviously we're going to uh, be continuing now, we're into part two, um, so we'll just have a little recap over, over what we've done in part one. Um, we should have stripped out our, our box now, um, remembering to check for battery size first before you follow the, the actual uh, deconstruction of the box if need be to make a battery fit. We're now going to move on and uh, I'm going to do a little less waffle this time and, and, and dive straight in hopefully. Um, a couple of you guys have said to me, can we do something a bit more focused on soldering? Because obviously this is uh, aimed at, at first time modders. So we will try and uh, break it down a little bit today. So we go a bit more in depth into soldering and you know putting the box together. So uh, I hope you enjoy it um, and uh, let's get on with the modding. Okay, so we left off last week with our battery installed um, and the glue setting and hopefully after a week that should be nice and firm. So what we need to do now is install the switch. You need to unscrew the nut that's installed on the screw. Take that off, feed the switch through and screw back. It should clamp down nicely. However, if it doesn't, what you need to do is add a, a dab of super glue on the switch threads. Um, and when you screw that down, it'll hold it in nice and tight. Here's a reverse view with the switch installed. So our next step is to put the LED in. As you can see, there is a, a rim around the LED. You want to run a bead of super glue around that rim and push it into the hole that we made for the LED connection. You want to make sure at this point that the shortest prong of the LED, that one's longer, one's shorter, the shortest point is towards the switch. There's a very good reason for this and we'll come to that later. Okay, so the glue was set on the LED and the switch if you needed to use a dab. This is where the, uh, the, the sort of the pliers come in useful again. As you can see, what I've done is, is put the box in the pliers and extended one of the uh, elastic bands over the end of the box mod. This will hold this really firmly while you're doing the soldering. What we're going to do now is actually uh, stop and take a look at a little video of how we actually solder before we put the components together. So okay, we're going to hopefully uh, try and show you how we solder. Basically we've got our stripped wire here. We need to tin the end of this wire to be able to connect it to this, uh, this switch here. As you can see, this, uh, this sort of uh, made up vice does come in very very useful. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, on, a, on a moistened sponge pad clean the end of our tip. We're just going to tin it up slightly on, on the end of the solder. What I tend to do is hold the wire over the end of the solder, heat the wire, give it a little touch on there and that's now nicely tinned up. We now need to do the same with the switch. Now remember from earlier we said we don't want to apply too much heat to this switch. Put some tin on the solder first, touch and add a dab. You will sometimes get a little spike sticking up like that but that's fine. Now what we're going to do is take our tinned piece of wire, a bit more solder on the end of the, uh, of the soldering iron and literally lay that where you want it to go. I'm not sure you can see this, let me try again. Lay that where you want it to go, give it a little touch and that's set there. The same goes for components as well. When we come on to adding these resistors, what we're going to need to do with those is tin the ends of these two. So the same principle applies. Over the solder, tin the soldering iron, apply that and a little bit of solder will be tinned onto the end of that connection. Same again for the other end. A little bit of solder on the tip first, hold the component over and give it a little tin. I'll show you how that will work on the other end of the switch. Now obviously this isn't how it's going to go together but let's just tin this that bit of switch there. Now we want to solder this switch on now. Again, tin. Always clean your, your soldering iron tip. Hold that on. Tap it. Dump. That's on there rock solid. 
So really what we're talking about here, one of the main things that we've got to do is make sure that we, we tin first, tin your tip, tin the wire that you're soldering to. This has already been tinned, I can touch M2 together now, and li literally that was a brush, a little touch. The best thing to do, have a practice. You can see how solid those are, those joints are now picking up that switch in the vise. This here is a real good aid as you can see, a little bit of solder in there, it will hold, uh, you, can, you can work, you haven't got to worry about having a wire, holding the wire in, in a couple of fingers, having a bit of solder in this one, trying to solder with, you know, tin up and do with that, it's a great holder, just push it down inside the insulation on the, uh, on the pliers there and you'll be fine. So hopefully that gives you a bit more of a, an insight of how we put things together. And it's pretty much the same pulling it apart. If you have a problem, you want to take something apart, always tin the tip. Just a touch, touch, and all that will come away. Okay, so we've learned the, uh, the basics of soldering. The next thing we're going to do is actually start piecing this thing together. What we're going to do is the LED, we need to bend the one nearest the switch and I do this by putting in some uh, very sort of uh, fine needle nose pliers give it a twist and bend it, it will go down at right angles bend it as far as it can towards the switch as you can see in this picture we then need to trim off the excess so that uh, negative prong, and it is the negative prong of the LED will go just slightly under the bent prong of the switch. Once we've done that, what we need to do is pull the negative prong away from the uh, switch, tin up, as we showed earlier, the end of the terminal and the switch, push the two together, give it a little touch with the soldering iron, and those two are now firmly together in place. Okay, so the next thing we, uh, we need to do is the, uh, the negative or the black wire that's coming from the switch. We need to pull that across and measure it so it's going to be roughly level with the uh, opposite prong to the uh, LED attachment. We need to snip that back and we need to uh, strip the end of the wire because this is going to be soldered to, as you're looking at the picture, the right side terminal of the switch. Okay, so once we strip that wire, the next thing we do is feed the positive wire, the red wire, through the atomizer hole. I normally leave about an inch, but you can see from the picture roughly where it should be. You need to strip back the end of the remaining wire that you've cut off, twist the two together as they are in this picture. So the next stage is going to be to tin up both ends of the negative and the twisted pair of the positive terminal. Once they are tinned, we need to put the, uh, as you can see in the photo, the, the positive terminal, pull it back at 90 degrees. This will enable, it's not 90 degrees, but just follow the angle. Whatever degree that is, just follow the angle, that'll be fine roughly stick it up in the air is good. That will enable us to uh, solder much, much, much easier onto the atomizer connection. So once we've tinned up all of our connections, we have a little bit of uh, the negative wire left over. We need to keep that for uh, something that we've got installed a little bit later. The next stage is to connect the negative terminal to the switch. Tin up the switch as we've done before, put the negative terminal on to the tin switch, touch together and it should hold nicely in place. Well there you go guys, hopefully uh, that was um, a, a little bit more useful. As I say, that may well slow uh, the whole process down, um, but, but don't forget uh, I will be posting these, uh, these videos up on 
on YouTube. They're available on the replayer on VTTV. It's done so you can take it step by step. So you can dive in and dive out. You can look at a picture, look at a video snippet. Um, and you know, if you, get, if you struggle anywhere, you know, rewind and, and start again. Um, it's not that easy with the box once you've got it in your hand, but you know, as I say, let's have a practice. If you're doing anything you're not too comfortable with, have a practice first. Um, and we'll be back for part three next week. Good night.